Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Call Hunga Yingai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. Double honest to the elders and the apostles of great wisdom taught me his truth and double side taste to all you Akim. You men that are proud signing aid throughout the four ones of this earth, pushing his truth with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom to you brothers and to the Yahweh, the few sisters that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. All right, this is brother Andre coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I'm going to edify and defeat the lands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I'm willing. And this is going to be a lesson about wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times, okay? And what times we're entering into, okay? Time of Jacob's trouble, okay? As things get worse and worse in this society, okay? Which they are, okay? If you had the spiritual eye to see that, okay? With this... The wicked alphabet agendas being fulfilled. The agenda of the new world order is being pushed. The, the microchip, the RFID microchip, the mark of the bees. Okay. And this devil Esau Edom coming down with great wrath because he knows he has a short time. So, look, things are going to get worse. And what we're going to need to keep ourselves in, 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 you know, stable in these times. Okay. We're going to need the scriptures. We're going to need, plus we're also we're going to need to call on them to know the names, which is Yahweh, which is the name of the Father and the Son. Yahweh Shai is the name of the, of, of the, uh, I think I said that wrong. Hold on. I said Yahweh, which is the name of the Father. I think I said that right. And Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the uh, begotten Son, our Lord and Savior. I hope I said that right. All right. If I didn't, I apologize. But nevertheless, okay. We're going to know the, the, okay, and the elect has those names, okay? The rest of the world don't, because the rest of the world, who they calling upon? Especially our people, you Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Who they going to call upon? Who are people going to call upon? You know who, JC. I ain't going to say the name, but hey, and all these other false gods that they believe in, okay? They're going to be calling on those false gods, but the elect, the elect is going to call upon the true names. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? And hey, and plus this wisdom and his knowledge of these scriptures, okay, it's going to get us through those times, okay, when all hell breaks loose and when this society, <laughs> society, society collapse, okay, all right, when this society gets ready to collapse, when Esau Eden brings in his digital currency, all right, which is underway, okay, all right, they already got DIY uh, microchip kits being pushed online. So, look, we're at the end, okay? And I'm going to get around to do a lesson on that, too, because, hey, look, if these devils, like I say, if these devils can get you to take that, you know, to do, to put the microchip in yourself, that'll be less work for them to do. But eventually, look. They're going to make this mandatory. They're going to make the microchip mandatory, just like they're going to make the jazz van, uh, mandatory, okay? And if you don't take it, hey, you're not going to be a part of society. You're not going to be able to do anything, man. But, hey, we're going to need a lot of faith. We're going to need this, the wisdom and the knowledge of these scriptures, and we're going to have to be on some on a faith on a whole level, man. We're going to have to trust in Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai, Okay? So without further ado, I'm not gonna ram on to no man, you know. Let's let's get into the scripture and low low when it's gonna be edifying, okay? <clears throat> and I'm gonna start off here because this is the uh, title of this lesson. Isaiah 33 and verse 6, and it reads, And wisdom and knowledge, wisdom and knowledge of what? Wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures, okay, shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shia Shai is his treasure, okay? And like we always do, look up words, okay? So we're going to look at the word, go, and look at the words of st uh, stability for edification, okay? All right. <clears throat> Strong's H530. Emunah. Emunah. Emunah for that word, okay? All right, firmness. All right, we're going to have to be firm. Steadfastness, all right? Steadfastness, and it's true, all right? We're going to need to be steadfast. We're going to have to stay firm, stable, okay? All right? Faithful, you see? Okay? All right, let's see. Let me 
anything else? <clears throat> I'm just looking. Stability, steady, true, truly. Okay. All right. Let's go to the root word and then etymology. All right. Uh, faithfulness, trusting. All right. Faithful. That's right. We're going to have to trust in the Lord. How about Shion you know, Shai? All right. Okay. Another etymology. All right. To support, confirm, be faithful. We're going to have to be faithful. We're going to have to trust in the Lord. How about Shion you know, Shai? And know that he's going to deliver us out of these times of trouble. All right. Uh, let's see. To be established, be faithful, <laughs> be careful, be carried, made firm. Uh huh. That's right. Uh, let's see. Trust, believe. That's right. See, to trust, to believe, to stand right here, to stand firm, to trust, to be certain, be certain, to believe in. We got to believe in Yahweh Shai. We got to trust in the Lord Yahweh Shai. Hey. Okay. We're gonna look, we're gonna have to trust and have <laughs> faith, okay? And you know what? That reminds me of scripture. I'm gonna come back to that. All right. Let's go to Hebrews chapter eleven and verse one. And then, then I'm gonna read verse six. It says Hebrews eleven and one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So faith is the substance of things hoped for, man. And what are we hoping for? We're hoping to be delivered. We're hoping to be covered by Yahabashin Yahashai. Okay? We're hoping in the evidence of things not seen. We have to believe. Okay? That the Lord Yahabashin Yahashai, when these damn devils, when Esau even come in like, comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord Yahabashin Yahashai is going to lift up a standard. Pretending to Isaiah 59 verse 19. Okay? We have to strongly and heartily believe that. That he's going to protect us. Okay? All right? Verse 6. I'm going to skip down to verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. And like I say, if you got the faith of, okay, a lot of us, you know, some brothers, you know, may have more faith than others. Okay? But you, you were blessed with a little amount of faith, man. A faith of a grain of a mustard seed. Okay? Roughly paraphrasing the parable. Okay? Alright? But hey, we got, some of us was blessed with um, excessive amount of faith, and some was blessed with a little amount of faith. Whatever you, whatever it may be, man. Okay, we have to believe wholeheartedly. Okay. Um, verse yeah, verse six again. I, I'm not saying Hebrews eleven and verse six again. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is. And that he, he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That's, that's right. Like it says, seek the Lord while he may be found. All right. Those that love him. You know, there's a scripture on that too. Um, hold on. Let me see. There's a scripture on that too. Seek. I think it's. It might be the other one. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Now read this. Psalms 9 and 10. It's a good one. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. See? So we have to know the names. The names of the glory. How about Shion Shai? See? For thou, for thou, glory, how about Shion Shai, has not forsaken them that seek thee. You see? That's a good scripture right there, man. That's right. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's another one. Actually, I was looking for. Seek me. How about that? <clears throat> Sloggy. One moment. All right. Let's see. Yeah, here's, here's the one I want to look for. Proverbs 8 and 17. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. You see? That's right. 
If you're seeking the glory, how about she out shy? Okay. Hey, you're going to find them. Okay. All right. But not everyone is not seeking the Lord, man. Like it says right here in Proverbs 28, Proverbs 1 and 28, it says, Then that then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. That's talking about two-thirds, man. Because what two-thirds is doing? Two-thirds are trusting in the shadow of Egypt. They want things to go back to normal. They're not like hey, they're not <laughs> they're not seeking the Lord Yah Bashin Shah. Only the elect is doing that. Okay, the elect is calling on the names of Yahweh about Shah. Okay, and actually, I got a scripture on that. Okay, Isaiah, actually, it's is Isaiah 55 and verse 6. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh about Shah, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So, hey, we should, if you, those of you that's in this truth, you need to be seeking the Lord, man. Okay, seeking the Lord while he may be found. Okay. All right, and those that you know just coming into this truth, hey, you need to be seeking the Lord now, man. Calling upon the name, meditating upon that name, okay. Praying, fasting, all right. Because hey, the times we're coming into, you might not have food to eat, but hey, if you believe Yahweh Shah is going to provide that, okay. Especially when this society collapse, okay. When there's no more food in the grocery stores, when there's a famine, okay? And you especially when they bring forth this digital currency, all right, you won't be able to buy a sale. If you know if you, because hey, the elect is not gonna take that microchip, okay? So hey, the Lord Yahweh Shia Shah is going to provide. And like it says in uh Isaiah 65 and verse 13, let's get it. I don't wanna hold on, let me actually let me finish reading that. That was more meat on that. All right, I'm gonna read this again. And then I'm gonna get that scripture. Isaiah six, I'm sorry, Isaiah fifty five and verse six. Seek ye the Lord Yahweh about Shial Shai while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord Yahweh about Shial Shai, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power he will abundantly pardon. That's right. Okay. Now let's go to Isaiah 65 and let's see. I'm going to start at verse 12. Isaiah 65 and verse 12 it says, Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I call, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. And this time about two thirds, man. Two thirds. What they want to do. They want things to go back to normal. They want society to go back to normal. <laughs> Look, they're looking to make things better in Babylon. This is not our rest, man, pertaining to uh, Micah 2 and 10. Okay, this place is not our rest, all right? Our people want oppression to go on forever and ever, all right? The elect doesn't, man. We're crying out to the Lord, Yahweh, Shia, Shai, man. Like it says, and it said, those days should be shortened. No flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake, the days are being shortened. The days are being shortened for the elect's sake, man. Okay? Because, hey, we're ready to get the hell up out of here. Okay? If this place continues, everyone will be in wickedness and in sin. Okay? But, hey, the water, Yahweh, Shia, Shai, for a remnant. Okay? But like it says, when times get rough, Hey, a lot of you, uh, you wicked ass Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, you two thirds. Hey, you hell is coming to you because hey, if you support this wicked ass agenda that's being pushed by this, you know, the Biden administration and by the elites. Okay, well, the Biden is doing the bidding of the elites, so you know he's not really, it's not really his agenda. Okay, like. Most people want to point out and say, oh, this is his agenda that's being pushed. No, this is the elite's agenda that's being pushed. That's why Biden's in the White House. He's doing the bidding of the elites. Okay? So, <laughs> and hey, he ain't wasting no time, man. He ain't joking. Okay? <laughs> Shit. You see, the alphabet agenda is being pushed heavenly. Okay? Like, hey, all you dumbass Israelites that voted for this dumb this Edomite, hey, voted for this goddamn Edomite, thinking things are going to get better. Yeah, you finna find out. Things ain't going to get no better for you, okay? But hey, that's okay, though, because hey, judgment is coming to 
hey, a lot of you wicked ass Israelites, man, okay, and basically to the whole goddamn world, man, okay, and rightfully so, right? This is Isaiah 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yah, about Shem, shall have power. Behold, my servant shall eat. We're going to be fine in that day when Jacob's trouble, okay? All right? We're going to be fine. The Lord, Yah, about Shem, is going to provide a way for us to eat. But watch this. But ye shall be hungry. Two thirds of you Israelites and the heathen and the Edomites out here, all right? A lot of you wicked ass people out here, you're going to go hungry, okay? But hey, the servants of the Lord, Yahweh Shah, are going to be fine. The elect, the 144,000, the one third hopeful elect of Israel, the men, women, and children. Okay? Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. A lot of you Israelites, okay, are about to be ashamed. Okay, why? Because you trust in the shadow of Egypt. Okay, a lot of you Israelites, two thirds of you, you trust in this damn place. And this place is about to become your shame and your confusion pertaining to Isaiah 30 and verse 1 through 3. Man, I'm sure it's popping up, boy. Hey, all praises to y'all by seeing y'all shy. Hey, I'm speaking the truth, man. Okay? This may seem harsh, but hey, this, this is the truth. Okay? Because a lot of you Israelites, y'all just don't fucking get what you done done. Right? You thinking voting... Going and voting and voting another fucking Edomite because he didn't like the last Edomite that was in there. I right? you know the last Edomite was in there. You know, he thought you thought hey, that hey, that motherfucker, he said well he was on his mind. Biden is speaking smooth words to you dumbass Israelites. And you falling for the shit, man. Okay, you're falling for it. And hey, a lot of y'all asses, psh, hey, you're about to find out, boy. Alright? You're about to find out. You've been Duke. And hey, which you always been Duke. But hey, a lot of you damn stupid ass Israelites, man, especially you two thirds, you continue to trust in this motherfucking devil. This devil don't give a fuck about you, man. And hey, I'm saying this through the spirit. Okay, this is the spirit of the power of Yahweh Shiyah Shai that's speaking through me. To tell you simple as Israelites, you sadist, stupid as Israelites. And sadist means stupid. Jeremiah 4 and 22. All people is foolish. Alright? But none of y'all asses ain't gonna wake up. You're not gonna wake up until it's too late. But it's gonna be too late to wake up. Okay? Alright? Let's continue, man. I know I'm going on longer than I know I um, ramble, but hey, these things got to be said, man, because Jake is <laughs> Jake is hard headed. And really, y'all are, man, hard headed and stiff neck, stiff neck Israelites, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Verse 14. Behold, my servant shall sing for shall, uh, shall sing. For joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit, man. Okay? Now you, Jason, are going to be vexed out here. Hey, the elect is already vexed, man. We're sick and tired of this shit. The fucking food you eating, the fucking water, is, is the damn air we breathe, the, 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 just every fucking thing, man. We're tired. All right? Hell. But, hey, we're going to be fine. We're going to be singing for joy and heart. Okay? Because, hey, finally, judgment is coming. You Israelites, two-thirds of you Israelites are going to get exactly what's fucking coming to you. All right? And we're not going to shed a fucking tear for y'all asses, man. Me, especially. All right? Y'all going to get that smoke. <laughs> Pretty soon, man. Okay? Alright? Not one off the top of it, but hey, these things got to be said, man. Through the spirit power y'all about seeing y'all shine, they must be said. Okay? They have to be said. <clears throat> but the elect, we got it, man. Look at why. I'm going to read this again. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge, the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures, the wisdom and knowledge of this truth, shall be the stability, the stability, the firmness. All right, of thy times. What times? The times of Jacob's trouble and strength of salvation and the fear of the glory. How about Shiyan Shai's treasure, man? 
So, hey, we're going to be okay, the elect, Lord willing. Although we're going to have to go through that trial by fire, okay? We're going to have to be tried, like it says, okay? Some of us may be thrown into FEMA camps. Some of us may be, some of us brothers may be martyrs and have to be put to death. Some of us are going to go through that straight and narrow gate and nothing may not happen to us. Because like it says in uh, Mark 9 and 1, okay? Some of us that be standing here may not will not see death at all. I'm saying may not will not see death. Period. Okay, until the chariots lift us up. Okay, till we're being beamed up in the chariots. Okay, so we're, look, we're gonna have to go through that straight narrow gate, and that's the best way to go through. You know what? Let me get that. Let's go. Let's get that. Matthew seven and thirteen. <clears throat> Matthew 7 and turn uh, Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go there at. And a lot of you wicked Israelites, man, two thirds of you especially are entering into that broad and that wide gate that's leading into destruction. Alright? You're following the ways of Esau in them. You're following your wicked ass leaders, the people you think that's have your goddamn best interest, and really they don't. Especially uh, your celebrities, the people you like, they're telling you to take this uh, this thing. All right, then they're gonna push your ass to take the next thing, the microchip, man. Okay, so hey, you following these goddamn people, and these motherfuckers ain't doing shit but leading your ass to destruction. All right, you should be listening to the prophets. The prophets are trying to lead you to the straight gate, to the gate of light, man, to everlasting life, getting delivered out of the, the out of the common destruction. Okay, that's what we're doing. But hey, what are two thirds of you Israelites doing? You wicked Israelites doing? You two thirds? You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? You're listening to your fucking leaders. You're listening to these false leaders that don't have no fucking best interest. Don't care about you. Don't give a damn about you, man. Hey, the prophets do. All right. And hey, we may say harsh things. We may curse. But hey, we're harsh because it's called tough love. Have you heard a thing called tough love? All right, open rebuke is better than that's a song. That's a scripture on that too. I'm, let me read this. Read this again. Uh, Matthew seven and thirteen again. Enter ye at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Only a few. A small remnant that is fine in it, man. Only a few. Okay. Um actually. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna read this down here too. First 15. Beware of false prophets. Excuse me. Which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening ravening wolves. You got these prophets out here. Trying to tell you that the RFID microchip is not the mark of the beast. They coming in with their own vain opinion. They're saying uh, that there is no Jacob's trouble. That it's okay to take the jab. Come on, man. What prophet would tell you that? Come on. And if you listening to these prophets that are telling you this shit, hey, look, get away from them, okay? Vex on every side, cry out. And that's what we're doing, man. Hey, <laughs> like, let's, let's see this. All right, I just got through watching that anyway. Uh, uh, the brother Irie R. from uh, GMS in North Carolina. Okay, it says, vex on every side, cry out. And that's, hey, that's what the elect is doing. The elect is crying out day in, day out, day and night. We're crying for this shit to end. All right? We're crying out. Two-thirds of our people are not crying out. They want to stay here. They love this shit. They love this wicked ass place. I hate this place. Every day I get up, it's hell. Man. But hey, 
Like it says right here, beware of false prophets. These and you got false prophets up popping up telling you that the RFID microchip is not the mark of the beast. It's this uh this this video I watched from Brother Amawana Ibad uh yesterday that this prophet ain't been around, took a took two years off and now coming back and teaching false uh teaching uh changing the doctrine, man. And lying. Lord's going to deal with y'all asses, man. Okay? For real. Uh, what scripture I was going to look for? Oh, yeah. Open rebuke. That's right. The water. Let's see. I think I can find it. Ho hopefully. Open rebuke. I think I can find it. Lord willing. Mm -hmm. I ain't giving nothing. Hold on, Snucky. Uh, rebuke. <clears throat> Bear with me. I know it's in um Proverbs. Proverbs. Yeah, here. I'm gonna read it from here. Proverbs chapter twenty-seven and verse five says, "Open rebuke is better than secret love." That's right, man. Open rebuke. It's better than secret love. Okay? Yeah, this is a good one here. Ecclesiastes 7 and 5. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise, all right, than, than for a man to hear the song of fools, man. It's better to hear the rebuke of the wise, man. Who's the wise? The elect. The 144,000 mighty men that are prophesying and, name and preaching this word to you. All right, then to hear this for then for a man to hear the song of fools, and who's saying to you, telling you to take the jab, telling you that the RFID microchip is is not the mark of the beast, telling you that it's okay to take this devil's poisonous injections, telling you, dude, look, if you listening to these motherfuckers, hey, you you deserve exactly what your ass gonna get. Period. Point blank, man. Okay. So uh, let's see. Let's go back to what else. But hey, like I say, man. Stop listening to these false prophets that are telling you and not warning the sheep, okay? Of the times that are coming in, okay? Because shit is about to get go from bad to worse, zero to 60, okay? And hey, it's not no time to be fucking playing around, man, okay? Romans 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things that were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And that's what we do. We have hope through these scriptures. Okay. These things were written for our foretime. To let us know what the times were coming into. Okay. That we through patience and comfort. Alright. Being patient. Like it says. Alright. Uh, what's it? How'd it go? Uh, damn. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay. Roughly paraphrasing. Alright. So hey. Through this faith and patience and comfort of these scriptures, that we have hope. We have hope then of the things to come. All right. Verse uh, five. Now the power of patience and consolation granted you to be like minded one towards another according to Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. That's right. All right. And that's what we do. We're one mind. All right. Be like minded. All right. We're hoping for the same thing. Okay. That's pretty much it for that. All right. Let's see. Let's get this. Joshua 1 in verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, thou, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. And that's what we do. We meditate on these scriptures. All right. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Meditating on these scriptures day and night. Meditating on the word. Okay. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. That's right, man. All right. Verse 9. I have not commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord Yahweh shall that power is with thee, whither so ever 
thou goest. So that's right, man. So the Lord is going to be with us. Even if you're, in a, if you're thrown into a FEMA camp, the Lord is going to be right there with you. He's going to have his angels protecting you no matter what, man. All right. You can be ingrained with spiritual powers right there. So, hey, when they when they do try to force that that thing onto you and that other thing onto you, hey, the Lord can lift up that standard right there, all right? And the Lord is going to lift up the standard. You have to believe that wholeheartedly, man, okay? We have to believe that. Isaiah 59, verse 19, So shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shai shall lift up a standard against him. The Lord is going to lift up that standard. We have to believe that, man. Spiritual powers is coming. I want those spiritual powers. Lord willing, all right? <laughs> I know every brother that's in this truth, that's preaching this truth, all right? Whether you listening, Already you, you know, are you preaching this truth? Hey, we want spiritual powers, man. Because, hey, when we get those spiritual powers, man, we're going to be unstoppable. Okay? And brothers have been, and brothers been having visions of having spiritual powers. I know I've had a couple of visions, you know, a few visions of having spiritual powers. Okay? So, hey, the Lord is going to give his men spiritual powers, man. All right? The fishers, which are the prophets, those men that are fishing, are going to soon be given the license to hunt. Real soon. Jeremiah 16, verse 16. So that is coming. And you have to believe that. We meditate on those things. We meditate on being delivered. We meditate on the kingdom. We meditate on spiritual powers. Hey, having our feast on these damn devils' neck in the kingdom. We meditate, on, especially on the kingdom of heaven. Well, all we're going to have, we're going to have everything. Okay, and we're going to have our foots on these damn devil's neck. Okay, that's why we have to suffer patiently, which comes to mind right here. Baruch 4 and 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh, for thy enemy hath persecuted thee. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. We want that. Okay, we want that. That's why we want to be on that first goal, man. Okay? So we, hey. <laughs> so we can, we get down these damn devils, man. That's what we want. That's the, what the elect is looking for. Okay? This is what we hoping for. The rest of the world is, and our, two-thirds of our people, what they hoping for. Things to go back to normal. So they can go back to doing the wicked and folly shit that they once was doing. All right, but the elect, the hopeful elect, Lord willing, I'm one. We're hoping for the kingdom of heaven. Okay, let's see. Anything else? <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna read this. Ecclesiastes of Sirach 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord Yahweh, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not. Haste in time of trouble. That's right. So, hey, and constantly endure. Prepare yourself for temptation. Like it says, through much temptation that we may. And you know what? Let's leave that. Let's go to Acts. Chapter 14, verse 22, I believe. E, no, that's actually. You know, that's a. That's a I'm reading it anyway. It's a good scripture. Acts chapter 14, verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. That's right. That we th that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. See? All right? Tribulation. Through much tribulation. A time of trouble, man. Okay? Let's go back. Uh, verse 3. Cleave unto... Unto him and depart not always, Slug it, depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low state. Rather we be kicked out of a house, okay, whatever, whatever the case may be, okay, take it cheerfully, okay. Verse 5, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace 
of adversity. Believe in him. Believe in who? Yahweh And he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. And that's what the elect is doing. We trust in the Lord Yahweh Ye that fear the Lord Yahweh wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord Yahweh believe him and your reward shall not fail. That's right. What's that reward we're looking for? A crown of life. That's what we're looking for. Okay, the kingdom of heaven. Being able to have spiritual powers, being able to travel from travel and have everything, have abundance, multiple wives. Hey, that's what the brothers, most brothers want. Okay. All right. Most of us brothers, we want multiple wives, a lot of children, uh, just, a, you know, a kingdom of righteousness, a world full of righteousness, man. Not this wicked shit that's going on. We don't want this wicked society to continue. That's what we're hoping for. That's what our reward, all right? That's what we want, okay? Verse 9. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh, shall hope for good. See? And <laughs> we're hoping for good. Righteousness, all right? And, for e sorry, and for everlasting joy and mercy. Yes. Verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord Yahweh Shine was confounded? No. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? No one, man. All right. If you believe, and hey, you have to know, like I said, you have to know the names. Yahweh, which is the name of the Father and the Son. Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the Father, like the name of the Son. Okay. The uh, Lord and Savior, okay? Your tongue twisted. <laughs> Slocky. Verse 11. For the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth his sins, and saveth in time of affliction. And whose sins he forgiveth? The nation of Israel, okay? That's whose the sins he forgiveth, okay? All right? <clears throat> Let's see. Anything else? There's actually another scripture I want to go to, and I'm going to close this out. I am intending this to be long. Um, Second Peter is three, and uh, let's see. I'm gonna start at verse nine, and I'm gonna read down to verse verse uh thirteen, and I'm gonna close it out. Second Peter's chapter three and verse nine. The Lord Yahweh Shah is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering toward to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all shall come to repentance. And that well, we all know that two thirds of our people are not gonna come to repentance, but that's but hey, but for the elect, all right, just a small remnant. All right, verse 10. But the day of the Lord Yahweh Shemashah will come as a thief in the night, in the, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works there, that are therein shall be burned up. And what's that talking about? America being burnt up, man. America is going to be burnt. By what? The ICBM nuclear missiles and laser cherry fire from the chariots of Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay? Verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai, which is the year 2021, uh, Elder Apostle Tahar and Label this year? The year of hastening, the coming of the day of the morning, Yahweh Shem Yashai. And that's what the elect is hoping for, man. We're hastening. We're looking for. We're hoping that this year, Bob Gashah, Bob Gashah, that Yahweh Shem Yashai comes, man, and, and put it into this madness. All right? Because you can't watch TV without seeing the, the alphabet agenda madness and all. Just, just straight up madness, man, that's going on, man. You know, the food, the the water, the air, it's, it's, it's fucked up, man. Everything is just, it's vexed in the spirit. And we're looking for, and we're hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord. How about she on shot, man? Okay? All right? Verse 12. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein 
the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with further heat. That further heat is going to come through ICBM nuclear missiles. Okay. Verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwells righteousness. This is what we're looking for, man. We're hoping for this. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Mm, I'm, I'm going to end it here, man. I made my point, okay? I, I made my point. I'm going to end it right here. All right? So, hey, the wisdom and the knowledge of these scriptures shall be the stability of our times, man. Okay? It's going to keep us stable in the times of trouble. What trouble? Jacob's trouble. Okay? That's spoken of in Jeremiah 37 and Daniel 12 and 1 because, hey, we're going to need it. And you know what? I got to get it. I'm going to get both of them and then I'm going to close it out. Slocky. I know I'm going on longer than I'm supposed to, but that's okay. I got to read it. Jeremiah 37, the last for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who's going to be saved out of it? The elect. Okay, the elect of Israel is going to be saved out of these times of trouble. And hey, like I say, we're going to need these scriptures. Okay, this wisdom and this knowledge and this truth is going to keep us stable, firm. Okay, in these times. All right, Daniel's 12 and 1. And at that time, shall Michael stand up? The great prince was standing for the children of the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble. What trouble? Jacob's trouble. Such as never was there was, since there, August, there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. What people? The elect. The elect of the Israelites, man. You Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, okay? The elect. Everyone that shall be found written in the book, okay? So, hey, this is what we're hoping for. And the wisdom and this knowledge of this truth, this Bible, is going to keep us stable when all hell breaks loose, okay? So, I'm going to end it here. Lord willing, I praise the lesson was edifying. And I'm going to close it out by giving all praises and honor and glory that is due Tihawah by Shem, Yahushai by Shem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Moonstone taught me this truth, and double side taste to you, Akim, you men that are prophesying the name throughout the full ones is earth, pushing this truth without righteousness and sincerity. All right, see you with another lesson. Go one, Kwam Yashurala, Shalom, and why above a ball. Shalom, Barakadam to the whole fillet. Peace and blessings to you, and why above a ball, death and destruction. To Babylon, the great America, and to two-thirds of you Israelites, man. All right? May your judgment come soon. Shalom.